be making bases. What's good YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up if you like today's content. Now today we're going to be talking about the quickest way to eliminate clipping on your tracks in Logic Pro 10. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to play this track. You'll see that it's clipping and I'm going to show you the quickest way to eliminate clipping on your tracks in Logic Pro 10. All right, so obviously the, the first way to eliminate uh, clipping, and then what I'm talking about clipping is um, if you look over here on the stereo out, see how it's red right there? That means that it's you know pushing a little bit over um, the threshold of what it should. Now the first way obviously is to go ahead and click on the tracks and then adjust the levels, right? You wanna adjust the level so it's not so loud. But sometimes when you adjust the levels, you can still get clipping. You know, so say if you adjust the levels and you're still getting a little clipping. All right, this is the quickest way to eliminate that on the stereo out. So what you're gonna do is go over here to um, the audio effects and there's a plugin that you're gonna need to get. It's by Waves, it's called Smack Attack. Um, it's a pretty dope plugin. It's actually used to boost certain signals and make certain instruments pop out in the mix. So like, for instance, like your kick drum or your snare drum, you usually put this on those instruments to make them pop more in the mix. But Smack Attack has something um, called this clip right here under guard right over here, right next to output. If you click on um, if you put this on your stereo out and click um, click on clip instead of off, just click clip right there then what you're gonna get is um, it's gonna stop your track from clipping in uh, you know in Logic Pro 10 let's check it out and as you can see I'm able to kind of you know push the envelope or push the, push the sound barrier just a little bit more so the only thing against this is you know, when you start bringing in lower sounding uh, instruments like your kick drums, 808s and stuff like that, you do want to balance out your mix and everything like that. But just like I said, after you balanced out your mix and everything and it saves is still clipping some, if you just slap this uh, smack attack plug in on here and put clip on, then it's going to stop your track overall from clipping. So that's today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasics.com. We have courses that you can download. They're more in depth in these videos. I mean, you get like hours of content that you can download right onto your computer by getting the courses. Plus, I have other bonuses and goodies on the on the, uh, the site. We have, you know, our loop packs, okay, which are royalty free. And we have our drum kits and our 100K giveaway um, subscriber bundle pack that we got. So the subscriber bundle pack is for only $5 and it's going to be entry into our uh, giveaway we're doing. Uh, basically, on our journey to 100,000 subscribers, we're giving away some dope prizes along the way. To find out more information, make sure you just go to my site, beatmakingbases.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We're out.